Hello everybody, Red Game Master here, and today we are playing Stardew Valley. Nice, peaceful game. And uh, we're going to be starting a new save file. Now, while I get all this set up, or I guess more like before I get all this set up. <laughs> um, one of the, th the things that I like most about this game is just how calm and relaxed it was. I used to really like the old... I can't remember the name of it, but I'm sure you guys know the one I'm talking about. Like, old farming style. I used to really like that. And because of that, I really like this one. Uh... Do I have facial hair? Oh, it's accessory. Uh, let's go with that because I wear glasses. I'm nowhere near that tan and I'm not an alien. Alright guys, it's going to take me a little bit so I'll be right back once I've got all this finished. Alright, got everything ready so then let's get going. I'm probably going to be doing a bit of voice acting, or try to do a bit of voice acting in this, just to make things a little more interesting. Oh, Grandpa. And to my very special grandson. I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. Blank, blank, years later. Joja, join us thrive. Yeah, a bunch of cubicles. <sighs> so glad that I, that I was lucky enough I never had to do that. I definitely wouldn't be the cowboy guy there. In fact, I'd probably be... I don't know, the guy on the right. <laughs> or at least that's how I'd be feeling. Or maybe I'd just be me right now. I'm just feeling like, oh, I gotta get out of here. There's the envelope. What do you say? Should we do this? Yeah, let's do this. Dear Nicholas, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy RGM Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your life and to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. P.S. If Lewis still... Eh. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? All right, Grandpa. Just a nice, peaceful, quaint hillside. Uh, I don't think I've ever told you guys this, but I love that kind of stuff. I live at the foot of some hills. 
every once in a while I like to just go up there at least you know when there's water flowing through the creek and just sit and relax and oops. Okay, Robin, what voice should I give her without trying to be annoying or insulting? Well, hello there. You must be Nicholas. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Sorry. <laughs> I said I would try not to be insulting, and I really am, but that's just the first thing that came to mind. This is RGM Farm. Yeah. I'm guessing Grandpa hasn't been here for a while. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome. I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old, college, old cottage. It's a good house. Very r rustic. Rustic. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Nicholas. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you'll buy one of her house upgrades. Yeah, it looks like he got you there, Robin. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The town's people would appreciate that. <laughs> She's still mad at him. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Bye, Lewis. Bye, Robin. <laughs> See, the thing is, I'm not pieces, but I am fairly good with accents. Yeah. Okay, I must have shift always on. Parsnip seeds and a new journal entry. You received 10 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Alrighty. Introductions. Go and talk to everyone. Getting started. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Okay. Got our basic tools. Yeah, everything there looks good. Always got to check. Welcome to Kuzo 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. They're all kind of bleeding into each other, ain't they? Uh, living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting for your first harvest. And this one is mostly just matters when you're mining. See, uh, oh, and harvesting. You don't want to harvest, or you kind of shouldn't on harvest on days where it's really bad, or or it's really bad, because you'll be less likely to get good stuff to harvest. All right. So then, first off. Let's just clear ourselves a little bit of space here. No. Just gonna clear first. 
wrong one. There we go. Okay. Nope. There we go. It's been a bit since I've played this, as you guys can probably tell. Alright, that should be enough area cleared. We got 15, 2, 3. Got ourselves some clay, that'll be useful later. Alright, so I'll give us 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, let's plant ourselves these parsnip seeds. Now time to play sprinkler. I even love the music. Alright, so, why don't we go into town and see what we can find? And obviously we'll keep an eye out for some wild forage while we're out here. Although we probably won't find anything in town. Ooh, another one. There we go. Well, why don't first... Why don't we go here first? Oh, gotta go around. Okay, Harvey, you're the doctor. Hmm, it's a pleasure. No, it, that's still someone else, dang it. <clears throat> It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I prefer... I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's reward and work. Alright. So many people... Not, not, not getting started. Introductions. 28 and I'm probably not going to remember a single one of them. Oh, hello. Hi, ma'am. Marnie. Oh, she's one of the... Her sh I don't know. I don't think so. No, she isn't. She runs the stables and whatnot. The place where you go and buy cattle and things like that. Ah, oh, Mayor Lewis told me... No. <laughs> Sorry, trying out new voices. That one didn't sound right. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Alright, hello Marnie. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's... Pierre's got the good stuff. No, nope, no. Nope. That's all he has to say. Alright, hello to you too. Pierre. Hey, it's Mr. Nicholas, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you from, for a good price. Alrighty. And the reason that door is open is because for some reason the church is also in his house. His wife. Hello. You must be Nicholas, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Abigail. My favorite. <laughs> oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into the uh, into that old farm. 
It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, you can always come by. It's going to be overgrown for quite a while, I think. Alrighty. Pretty sure Gus is taken care of. Oh yeah, let's check this out while we're here. Okay, so right hand side. Sunday is Lewis's birthday. Nope, come on. Nope, clicked on the wrong. Nothing posted today. Field snack. Nope. Locked. Huh. Alex. Oh hey, you're the new guy, right? Cool. I'll see you around. All right. Grab another daffodil. Hi, birdie. Hi, birdies. Uh, just got out of this place. Pretty sure I got introduced myself to him, though. Welcome to Joe. No. Dang it, I keep repeating. I'm trying not to repeat. And the accents are wearing off on mine now, too. <laughs> hmm. Welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. You're evil incarnate. What, can I? Yes, I can. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Yeah, but, you know, I should have looked first. I think it does count. Let's hope. What about you? No? Okay, so... She's just, I guess, the person you talk to once you're a JoJo member. Ah, gotta introduce herself to the blacksmith. He's gonna come. He's gonna be nice. Clint! Mm. Hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need... To upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. All right, Clint. Just don't feel right giving everyone a southern accent. It just doesn't sound right. Or feel right. No? Okay. <clears throat> Why, hello there. Welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Oh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display, but I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Alright. What's this? Okay, I know that there's books for me to find. And you're not kidding when you made off with everything, are you? This place is bare bones. Energy's already going down, although that's mostly just from the work we did before. And this is the mayor's house. No one's home. Nothing. You want to be careful doing that because if someone catches you... It's not good. Emily. <sighs> Dang it. I really suck at female voices. I'm having to layer a... And although I don't like it, I kind of feel like I should be putting a little bit of an American Southern accent in there. But that's just me, right? Right? Nah, I don't think so. Although it probably is. Oh, okay, 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 okay. 
Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Can I talk to you again? No. That's a bedroom. I'm just trying to see if anyone is... No. Okay, well, looks like no one else is home right now. Just figured I'd come in and say hi. The mayor said I had to talk to everyone, so that's what I'm doing. want to bother anyone. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, hello. Hi, hello there, and welcome to our little community, dearie. You can call me Granny if you like. No? Only one talk? Okay. Oh, jeez. There's no way I'm going to remember all of these voices. Meru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Meru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Hello. Um, okay, not gonna talk to her because Pam might get angry at me. Ah, here's Granny's husband. Hmm. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people. <laughs> Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. <laughs> well, may not be the most polite person, but he's fairly nice. Hi, Abigail. Okay, so here's the thing. From what you guys have already seen, I think you guys can understand that when I did it, when I did a playthrough on my own, I chose Abigail but I'm not going to choose her this time because, well, there's a lot of other stuff. There we go. Oh, jeez, I forgot how... I forgot I only have this row. Oh, seeds aren't going to do me any good. Fiber's not really going to either. Nothing to do in there. Just keep moving, just keep moving. Alright, I know there's a few people up here, including Robin. So, let's see. Hi, th Hi there. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Well, I haven't met your son. There he is. Uh, I'll have to wait till he decides to go to the bar. He's actually doing right now what I am, which I think is kind of cool that the guy put someone like that in here. Speaking of which, this whole game is made by one person, as I'm sure you guys probably know. Oop. Okay. Let's toss the clay. Journal entry. Archaeology. You found an ancient looking object. Could it be some kind of artifact from long ago? Perhaps Gunther, creator of the local museum, has the answer. Oh, hold on one sec, guys. Be right back. Alright guys, sorry for that little break. Uh, let's grab this. We haven't talked to Demetrius here yet. <clears throat> Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Meru? She's interested in meeting you. I think I have. Pretty sure I have. But yeah, the reason I'm going to be going after a, a different person, or a different uh, one of the potential ladies to marry, is that, I, uh, is that I've actually done my best to remain blind on all of the events with them. The only time I've ever looked up an event is uh, 
when I'm is if I'm having trouble actually causing it to happen. Like it needs to happen under certain circumstances. Like, for instance, uh, Abigail has one where you have to come to this area at night or in the evening when it's raining. It's a little bit of an odd combination. So I had I ended up having to look that up. Linus, let's see here. A stranger. Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. Well, would you like this? That's a great gift. Thank you. I like Linus. He's a he's a good guy. Oh, hey, there he is. There's your son. Let's talk to him before he. Oh. Sebastian. Oh, you just. <clears throat> oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? Yeah, it's actually rather nice here. I like how peaceful it is. Uh, yeah. Okay, yep. It is getting a bit late. I don't think we're going to be able to find anyone else today. Oh, wait. Bar should definitely be open by now, and f quite a few people should be there. So, what do you say we? Sorry, the tavern. So, what do you say we head to the tavern and see who we can find? Maybe we'll find someone on the way. Oh, there's Pam. She's probably gonna be mad at me. Let's see, anyone else? No, no one over there. Didn't think we'd get a chance. Um, he's not... Ah. Here we go. I don't know you. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Because I'm trying to be nice? Jeez. Here's Pam. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. Hey, kid. I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. By the way, if you guys are ever wondering uh, why I gave her that voice, to me, she seems like a smoker. She seems like a smoker, so she seems like she would have that voice, but that's probably just me. Alright, I severely doubt we're going to find anyone out here this time of night, so why don't we just head home? Oh jeez, I forgot I'm gonna have to get my way through here. Let's rest up for the night. 